Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the proximity sensor in the OnePlus 2. So first of all, before you get started, what you want to do is make sure that your device is powered off. Then you want to grab the phone and right here in the back cover, you just carefully stick your thumbnail or something in that slot right there. Then you can just pry up, work your way around, and the back cover comes right off. So next what you want to do is remove any SIM cards at this time. Next what you're going to want to do is use a tweezers or something. That's what I use. It's something fine. And you need to get in here. There's three rubber plugs in these screws right here. And there's two rubber plugs up here and one here. So you need to take those six out. I already took them out, but I wanted to show you you need to take those out. And there's also a white sticker down here on this bottom one. We're going to need to remove that. Next we're going to need to use a Phillips screwdriver size 000. And we're going to need to remove all these 18 screws all the way around. They should all be the same size so you don't need to worry about mixing them up. I'll include links in the video description for any tools that I'm going to be using today or any parts that I'm going to be replacing. Anything that I think might be helpful to you, I'll include links in the video description below this video so check them out there. So next, now that you got all your 18 screws all the way around out of there, I'm going to just use something like a tweezers here very carefully. Go in this little slot right here and you can just get that started, popped up a little bit. Then what I'm going to do is hold it with my thumbnail like that so it doesn't pop down. And then I'm just going to carefully slide something like this plastic pry tool under here. And you can see this is letting loose. So just be careful with it. It comes loose pretty easy. And then the whole back just comes right off. So next we're going to remove the logic board here. And what we're going to do first is we're going to grab this tape right here and peel that off. And grab this one over here as well and peel that off. Next we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver size 000, same as we did to open the back up. And we're going to remove this little screw right in this corner here. So next what we're going to do is we're going to remove these connectors right here with a plastic pry tool or something or your fingernail. Don't use anything metallic. You're going to remove this connector here. You're going to remove this connector here for the battery. We've got all kinds of connectors removed here. Let's remove this one here. This little one over here. And then up here we have this copper tape to remove. And then there's a connector that came up with the copper tape. But we need to remove that as well. The next we need to remove this antenna wire right here as well. Then I'm going to turn the phone this way and we can just carefully pry up under here and we're going to tip it up this way first. Watch this front camera so it comes up with it as well. Because of the headphone jack here sticking in the way we kind of need to tip it up like this and then kind of pull it back a little and then it comes right out. To change the proximity sensor which is located right here under this rubber part what we can do is just grab like a tweezers or something and remove this rubber right here. Then what you can do is just carefully pull up on this cable right here and it releases it and then you can see it's peeling up this silver tape right here and the whole part comes out just like that. So to reinstall, grab your new part. If it has film on here on the adhesive, peel that off, just grab it, set it down in there where it needs to go first and then you can stick this tape down. Make sure that's stuck down. Then we'll just grab a rubber part, set it down in there and push down and you're all set. To reinstall the logic board, what you want to do is you want to make sure first of all that this mute button is all the way up and then you want to make sure that the switch in the logic board is all the way up. If it got bumped in any way, if it got down too far, then you're going to not be able to line it up in the button right here. So we're going to need to move both to the top position. So to reinstall, just grab your logic board, set it down in like this. Now when you set it down, you'll have some things to watch. You want to watch this antenna wire right here. You want to watch this connector over here. All these different connectors in the way here and this antenna wire yet again. All these different connectors you want to watch as you set it down in here. You want to make sure that you're tucked down in here good when you press it down. Otherwise the logic board can't come far enough forward to set down properly. So if it's not quite seating in here, then that's usually the problem is it's not down quite in the front here and far enough forward. Then you want to grab your screw and put it in here. Then we'll start reconnecting things. So let's go ahead and start reconnecting some things. So let's reconnect this. Push the copper tape back down. Let's reconnect this connector. Reconnect this connector. Reconnect these two and also let's reconnect this antenna wire right here. Make sure it's pushed down in its channel, the wire, when you're done. Let's grab our tape and put it back on here. And you're all set. To put the back part back on, just grab the back part, set it down on here. Just press down, clip it in and go ahead and put all your screws in all the way around. Once your screws are back in, make sure to put these three plugs back in here and the three rubber plugs in the bottom right here. Be sure to install your SIM card next. Then you can grab the back cover, set it right down on here. Make sure it's pressed in all the way around and you're all set. Thanks for watching.